Hey, what's up everybody? So I'm gonna give you a simple little circuit training workout that you can do while you're at home. And if you don't have any weights, don't worry about it. You know why? Neither do I. You see these? These are gallon water bottles. And each gallon weighs about eight pounds all together. So I have some of my clients use this when I come to their houses and they don't have any weight. And I don't feel like bringing any weight. And it's cheaper too. Right? Standard eight pound weights are gonna cost you about eight ninety nine each. So right here, you get it for seventy nine cents each. See? Okay, so anyway, we're gonna start out with some squats. Let me fix the camera a little bit so you can see me. Okay, so you're gonna bring the weight, well, the water bottles on your shoulders, feet shoulder width apart. Squat down and up. And when you squat down, you want to imagine like you're sitting in a chair. Your butt should be going back. You want to push that butt back as far as you can, right? Twist it. That way your knees aren't going over your toes. And you're going to hold it two seconds. Now the trick is holding it two seconds. All right. We're going to try uh, 20 of those, all right? Hold it down and up. One. Go at the same pace as me. Two, make sure you hold your stomach in tight. Three, four, five, keep your back straight, keep your head up. Six, seven, breathe in and out. Eight, hold it. Nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so you're not finished. Let me adjust the camera. Okay, so now we're going to go into shoulder press. So hopefully, I drop a little water, hopefully it won't spill on me. I'm going to take the weight like this, I'm going to bring all the way up and down. Let me step back. So, right? We're going to hold it two seconds and then back up. 20 times. Ready, set, up. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. All the way up and one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're not finished yet. I'm gonna just camera some more. And now we're gonna go to back. What you're gonna do? I'm gonna take the weight. You're gonna bend over and you're gonna, you want your arms when you bring it up on the side of your chest. You're gonna squeeze your back, hold it two seconds, and right back down. Make sure you arch your back. So if your back is like this, you wanna go like that, hold the stomach in tight, and keep your head straight forward. Ready, set, up. Squeeze your back. One, make sure you're going at the same pace as me. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, 
four, squeeze, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more, ten. That's good. Now, I want 20 jumping jacks, and then we're done. It's a four count, so it's a one, two, three, one. Ready, set, go. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's good. Okay, so let me explain a little bit of that. So notice how everything we did, we was holding. When we squat down, we held two seconds. Shoulder press, we held two seconds. And then we bend over with the back, we held two seconds. Let me tell you something about the holding two seconds. Normally, when you probably train with a trainer, they probably have you just go down, go up. Now, when you come down, you're gonna work that muscle. But you're only holding it for one second. So that means you're only working that muscle for one second. But now, when you hold it anywhere from two, well actually six seconds or more, but we did it for two seconds. When you hold that muscle, you're constantly putting more pressure on that muscle. And what happens is that you confuse your muscle. So your muscle, because the body, right? We all want to burn as much calories as possible when you want to lose weight. Now watch this. When you're lifting a weight, your body is trying to use the minimum amount of uh, muscles as possible, okay? It's trying to do the least amount of work. But now what happens is, when you hold it, you confuse the body, the body like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? We don't have enough energy to sustain this weight. It's not going anywhere. So now your body starts to call for backup. And then those little tiny muscles that you never probably even known that you have, they start to come into play. So now you're holding it, Right, and normally you're just working your shoulders. Now you got those other little tiny muscles that start to come and help out. And now that's how you start to use more muscles, and that's how you start to burn more calories. And that's isometrics. You can look up this guy, Google the Amazing Samson. It was a guy, he was like a POW, and he was kind of like the father of calisthenics and isometrics. And that guy was super strong doing this exercise. Is going to burn the most amount of fat that you possibly can um and also it's going to make you super super strong so i hope you like this little circuit training that we did and what you want to do is you want to repeat this circuit training so we just did that was one set now what you want to do is you want to take it to five sets the same way that we did in the beginning squats shoulder press bend over rows or scapular retractions and then 20 jumping jacks. Do that five times and go have something to eat afterwards. Peace.